This is our new kit bag. I've got an amazing amount of stuff in here. Way more than I ever thought I would be able to fit. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Put this down at the bottom and then you cook your rice in there. You don't burn your rice. It turns out perfect. Ooh, looks beautiful. Man, it smells so good. So this is our new kit bag. I named it after that super handy Trans Am that uh, starred there with uh, David Hasselhoff. Hi, Maggie. Good girl. Good girl. Actually, I named it that because it's the perfect size for kits. Let me show you what all I fit in here. I've got the Nano in the X case. I've got the small windscreen. I've got a thermometer so I can make sure that I cook things to perfection. I've got a fuel canister. I've got the wood flame gas burner adapter. I've got a set of silverware that becomes tongs. The silverware is down here. This is my coffee cup and my coffee maker and my coffee grinder. This is my silverware that becomes tongs. Just like that. Here's my lid for my coffee cup. Here's the cooking stone for the firebox box pot. We should call it rocks pot because it does rock. I've got a full quart of water in here, so I'm totally prepared to make my coffee. And I've got my box pot, which I'm planning on doing some cooking with that tonight. I was hoping to catch a fish. I have the grill, which works on the Nano with gas. World's smallest gas grill. And I've got the box pot lid. Let's see, there's more. I've got my coffee. I've got my spatula, which has Hakata spice in the handle underneath this rubber stopper. I've got salt and pepper grinder, micro salt and pepper grinder. That's a firebox product as well. Okay, then in one of these sides, I have mosquito repellent. And this other side, I have the straps, which can be used to make this into a chest pack. I have the firebox folding chef knife, and I have a plate and a cutting board. All of that fit in here. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm really excited to show you how I cook rice in the box pot. I've done it once before. I did one cup of rice and it turned out perfect. I'm so excited about how this works. So if you take your baking stone, which we probably shouldn't call it baking stone anymore. We should probably call it cooking stone because if you put this down at the bottom and then you cook your rice in there, you don't burn your rice. It turns out perfect. Let's see. So I was planning on cooking rice and then catching a trout to cook on top of the rice. So I brought a half a cup of rice and uh, I didn't catch a trout and Bill stepped on my fishing rod and broke it. So it's over there gluing right now. Um, but I did find some beef jerky and I have some beef bouillon that I'll use some of it. I need some of it for tomorrow as well but I think I have enough that I can do both meals. Um, and then I was gonna put some butter in it. I'm doing half a cup of rice, so I'm gonna go with three quarters of a cup of water. Oh, 
Oh, I need to put the diffuser on. Bubbles are happening under the cooking stone and then they have to escape around the corners and the edges. So it does get quite noisy but there's not enough gap for the rice grains to fit down in there so it really works out perfect. It's boiling under the pizza stone but the water above the pizza stone is not at boiling temperature. It's interesting how the whole system ends up working, but it does end up uh, producing really nice rice. Okay, I'm boiling on top now. Well, it's still that corner. But I'm going to call that boiling and set a timer for 20 minutes. The timer is set. Let's turn the temperature down. And I want to wrap this windscreen just a little bit closer because... Uh, the wind keeps changing directions. This has about 12 minutes left. Ooh, I think now would be a good time to add the beef bouillon while there's still some moisture there. I'm just going to squeeze some of this in here. Maggie is very interested in this stuff. I'll put my chunks of beef jerky in here. There's about 10 more minutes for this to cook. So I'm going to put some of this butter up on top where it can kind of melt down into the beef jerky and then into the rice. I'm planning to cook cake next, so I'm going to put this butter on top so that it'll melt. Break up some rosemary in here. That's probably plenty. And then just let that steep for a little while longer. This quickly made up meal is almost finished but I have one more thing to add and that is Hakata spice and I have it inside of my handle so you can either use this as a pocket bellows or you can use it as a container so I have Hakata spice in here all right let's give it a try First I want to show you this rice, so if I dig all the way to the bottom and turn it over, well this beef bouillon is kind of ruining the effect because you can see that there's no browning at all but the beef bouillon is brown so you wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. Anyway, I promise that rice is not burned. Well, there are fish in here. 
I'm gonna put my dinner in this cup, but I wanted to show you another advantage to having a square cup. That pour spout or that corner directs the food and so you're gonna have less spillage off the side of your cup versus a round pot. How many times have you been trying to transfer something from a round pot and had it spill over the edges of whatever you're trying to put it in? I think that worked out great. Just gotta wipe that out with a paper towel and I'll be ready to start my cake. I'm going to use the grill to get my charcoal going. And then I'll put the charcoal on top of the box pot to cook my cake. I have cooked cakes successfully, but only half of the pan. You know, in order to do a full cake where you use up the whole size of the pan, I think you're going to have to have charcoal on top. I did try that with gas, and it took like 45 minutes to finally cook it, and it burned the, uh, the bottom of the cake. I'm going to turn that gas up just a little bit. Let's mix up the cake batter. I'm gonna put the liquid ingredients in first and just see if it's any easier to mix. Half a cup of water. Gonna be guessing on that. So this is a lemon cake. Really good lemon cake too, I'm excited. Okay, that's pretty well mixed in. And I'll get that all mixed in and I'll be right back with you. I pre-folded this piece of parchment paper. So I should be able to open this up carefully. And it should fit in here. I got the parchment paper to cooperate. I'll put maybe just a little bit more in, but I don't want to have to be scooping it out later because it's rising too high. Now I got this lemon for the trout, but uh, I just thought I could maybe shave off a little bits of zest just the slightest touch of rosemary flavor I'm going to turn this heat down Go ahead and pull these over. I hope they're hot enough. I always struggle with getting the top of pans hot enough. That's the hardest part of baking. So I'm going to leave these piled up so they'll help each other stay hot. And I'm actually going to leave this grill plate on here to temper the heat just a little bit more for this baking project and then I'm just going to turn that heat down as far as I can Ooh, it's starting to come up a little bit. I don't know how much heat this is providing. It's not very hot. Maybe I'll build another little wood fire up there. 
See if I can't get it a little warmer. Okay, that's 20 minutes. Let's see if we can open it up and see what's going on inside. I hate to run it much longer than this. I just worry that I'm burning the bottom. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Yes, it definitely jiggles. Okay, well, dang. Let me just see if I can look down in. It doesn't look black down there, so... I think I'm tempering the heat more than I realize from below. We take this grill plate off. Let that heat be a little more direct. But I think we're looking good on top. I think we'll just let that keep going. Okay, I think that's been 30 minutes. Uh, so this is running a little longer than I wanted it to, that's for sure. Ooh, looks beautiful. Man, it smells so good. Yeah, it's still a little jiggly, I'm afraid. It just needs more time. It feels like it needs at least another 10 minutes. But I'd rather go slow than burn it. So I'm going to give it 10 more minutes and come back. I think it's done. Whoops, that's not coming up straight. There we go. Well, here's where we see what happened. Move the baking stone. It looks like it might be a little bit dark, but it doesn't look burned. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. But anyway, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful cake. Mm. Wow. That is really good. Well, you can see the texture. It looks really nice. I'll have to save some of this for breakfast. It's cooked all the way through. Looks great.